Should I give the Mia Himikuash another chance? I guess I should. So the Mia Himikuash was my very first gouache set and I guess that's true for a lot of people. And before I used gouache, I actually previously using watercolor and you know that watercolor is such a thin media that takes forever to try. And now I'm switching to a Himi gouache, which is a very thick media and it dries almost instantly. So as someone who is used to paint with watercolor, this was quite frustrating. Like, I don't know how to adapt. I was using the Mia Himi gouache for a short amount of time before I stopped using it altogether. But after that, I tried painting with Sakura Postacola and I also bought the Holbein Artist Squash and I love them, I love them. And because of that, I think I am now much more used to painting with a thicker media that dries faster than watercolor and I think maybe this is the time for me to give the Mia Himi Gouache another chance.
So guys, I have finished removing all of the molds from my Hemi Queens. And when I was removing the molds, I realized that as I scooped deeper and deeper, I kept finding molds deeper and deeper. It seems that the molds are actually growing inside the paint and not just on top of the paint. And because of that, I actually don't know if I want to use the loose paint again. I don't mean to make a good paint video because when I made this video, I believe that I will start using the Himi gouache again. But after I see how bad it can be multi, I am afraid that it will affect my health and I am also afraid that it will affect my other objects. What if the mold spreads to my painting papers? What if it spreads to canvases and my other objects? I don't know if that is possible but I think it's better to be careful than being sorry. So I think I'm not going back to the Himi gouache. So back to the first question, should I give the Himi gouache another chance? Probably not. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and see you on my next one. Bye-bye.